The Masters in Data Analytics I'd set up really because of the demand from industry. A lot of the companies actually approached the university and approached me to see whether I would establish the course because of the need for that skill base. A lot of our current courses would have been very much focused on that discipline. So you will have a degree in maths or a degree in computer science. But really, data analytics overlaps on both those areas. So you really need to have a course that can bring the right elements of the mathematics and the statistics along with the computational skills that's required. And it was that package that was required for the industry. This course is really interesting because we get into the mathematical and statistical principles behind data analytics first off. I love teaching this course because you can see students really understand the application of analysing lots of different data and seeing how that can really empower businesses make decisions. I really wanted to do the data analytics course to improve my skills and help with career progression. I work in the field at the minute, um, but it was really to find ways to do my job better, more efficiently. I was particularly interested in the coding aspects of the course. In the course, you will learn a lot about R, SQL and Python, and they are really in demand skills at the minute. I think more and more businesses and organisations are moving towards using the free open source software such as R. So it's really in demand and a really good skill to have. I work a lot in healthcare. So the data that I look at would be using data from hospitals, GP practices, and the data is looking at variables such as your RNA or your DNA. And when we have previous information and we can tell if those people got sick, we can then use new information to try and understand and predict who will get sick in the future and prevent that. I was very keen to ensure that we had strong industry partnership and industry engagement throughout the course. We have the Lunch and Learn series, which is where we have companies that come in to the university on the students' lunch break and they actually provide the lunch, they sponsor the lunch and they come in and talk about what it is like to work in that company doing data analytics. We also have challenges that the companies come in and set the students. So as part of one of our modules, Analytics in Action, the students get to see real data and real problems with data and work on that as part of the course and those challenges are coming directly from companies who come in themselves, present and pitch that challenge to the students. And that's a nice way then to prepare students for working in industry. If they've done that module where they've had access to real challenges in industry, then it prepares them to go on and do their placement. My background is in software engineering. I was an app developer working at a medical company and I really wanted to explore medical data. It seems like it's a big frontier. So I found this data analytics masters at Queen's and it seemed like it would be perfect. It could give me an opportunity to gain new skills. I could give me the ability to solve problems in data and build new technologies using that data. I have really enjoyed my experience at Queen's. I felt like the staff are really supportive. There's a good pace to the masters. The first day I arrived at the computer science building, I was really impressed by the building because it's really colorful. <laughs> When I sit at the table, we got a really good computer. It's even better compared to my computer at that time. And compared to my uni university in Indonesia, it has much better facilities. Data certainly has the power to change the world. We want to make sure it's being changed in the right way and that it's a positive impact. And in order to do that, we need to have the right bodies, the right people skilled up and know how to use data properly and apply methods appropriately as well.